Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a request for you. This was requested on Facebook. These are the Lowland pocket shorties without the pocket and today I will be showing you how to sew these. As always, I'll include a link to the pattern down below and today we will be using a cute not cute, a cool little hack for the waistband to make these shorties even faster to sew. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone, you know the drill. Here are the pattern pieces. We have the front of the pocket shorties and I left it without cutting this since we're not doing pockets today. I have the back piece. And then I have my waistband and leg band. Something to note about the waistband, depending on which elastic you have, they have two different versions of the waistband. So just make sure that you cut out the right one. And now I'm going to get into cutting. For these, you are going to have to cut two opposites. So when you lay your fabric, you can lay it on a folded piece of fabric and then cut two and it'll give you two opposite sides, two mirrored sides. Same for this. And then all you need to pay attention to is the stretch. This is the grain line, so you have to cut it with the fabric going the stretchiest this way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have this super cute rib knit. I'm making these for my daughter. And with rib, it's super easy to find the grain line. The grain line goes with the line, so we know that the stretch goes the opposite way, side to side. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of guesstimate around how wide I need this. Sorry, I keep running into my tripod. And you just want the line to be perpendicular with the rib lines. Or if you don't aren't doing rib, you just have to make it perpendicular with whatever fabric you have. So like this. And I mean this line. Sorry, I should have pointed it better. I mean this line. That looks good. So again, I'm just going to cut around and then I will get my two opposite pieces. All right, I have all the pattern pieces cut and I even went ahead and cut out my elastic. In the instructions, you'll see an elastic cut chart for each size. Now I will note my elastic isn't as wide as the pattern calls for, but it's still gonna work for our purposes today. Now let's get into the sewing. So first things first, I'm gonna put these aside. And since I already cut my pieces right sides together, meaning the right sides of the fabric are facing each other, we're all good to go. And the first thing I'm going to sew is down the middle seams here for both sides of the shorts. All right, here they are. And now all I'm going to do is open them up. So here's our back and our front. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay them on top of each other. And we're going to sew the sides. Now you'll see that you have they don't like line up perfectly, but that's fine because all we're going to do is when we're sewing bring it over and sew it down and then it'll be good and then this you just have to place it sew it over and sew this side down so we're going to sew this side and this side making sure we line up everything and then while we're at it let's go ahead and sew the crotch down so we're going to line this up as well raw edges nice and then we're going to sew the crotch and a quick little tip is you want to have your seams go in opposite directions so you see how this seam is going this way and the bottom seam is going that way when we go to sew it's going to help because they're going to line up nice once they go under the serger you know they don't really have anywhere else to shift and then you'll have a nice lined up crotch seam <laughs> So this is what we are left with, and now we're going to work on our waistband. So the waistband is cut on the fold, so you just have this one long piece, but I am going to keep it right sides together with the edges touching. And we are going to do the ham hot method for our waistband. If you don't know, the ham hot method is named because you remember in school when the teacher would say okay everyone fold your paper hamburger style okay now fold it hot dog style so this is technically hamburger style and then we're going to fold it hot dog style but we're going to do it with the elastic in place so try to find like where the middle of your waistband would be so somewhere along here it's okay if you have a little bit um, on the edge too just as long as it's not standing in the way of where you would surge over here 
and then so again just fold it make sure that the elastic is right at the edge and all of your raw edges are at the edge and then you're going to take your elastic make sure that it's all straight and you're going to place it on top like this and again you want everything to be lined up and you're going to put this under your serger run it under and then you'll have a really cool waistband all ready to go and then all you need to do is serge the waistband on so i'm going to go ahead and sew this up and i will come back all right so again if that was confusing at all here is what it looks like once it's sewn and now we are just going to flip it so that we get the print right side out and the elastic will kind of just be hanging out but that's okay because we are going to sew this waistband in with our shorts and we're going to make sure that the elastic stays inside So here's my waistband. I'm going to go ahead and put this side of the waistband on the back so the seam is going to match up with the seam here. And you can even use pins. So like that, just so that I know it's going to line up. And then again, you can use the same method that we use for the crotch where you make one seam go one direction and the other seam go the other direction. Now I'm going to find the center of my waistband. I usually just hold it at this end and then go and find the other end here. So this is the front, center front. Before I pin this, I'm going to just hold it and put the elastic inside and then pin it. Making sure not to pin the elastic, just the fabric. Just like that. So now I have two points where I can kind of guide myself. And the rest I'm just going to serge on and feed the elastic inside as I'm surging. So like let's say I'm starting, sorry this is kind of confusing. Let's say I'm starting here. I'm going to surge, surge, surge. Surge all my layers, making sure the elastic is inside. Surging, surging. Keep going, making sure the elastic is inside. And making sure that I'm not sewing on the elastic at all. And then, like I said, keep my layers, keep going, keep going. So it's going to be pretty simple if you just focus on the fabric raw edges, making sure they line up, and just making sure that the elastic is inside and you're not surging over it because then it's not going to be able to freely move inside the waistband and then you're going to just finish it all up okay okay so i forgot to film this with the last fabric that i was doing so this is why the, the fabric's going to look different but hopefully y'all can see so i'm going to start with the back seam i already removed my pin I'm just going to put my needle up with the hand wheel and then make sure that everything goes in. And then like I said previously, let me see if I can get a better angle. Like I said previously, I'm just going to focus on making sure that all of my fabric edges line up. And not so much worry about the elastic, but I do have to make sure that the elastic stays inside. I'm going to sew. And then, like here, you're going to see the elastic. Just make sure that it's staying nice and flat in there. And you're just focusing on the raw edges of the fabric. I'm going to continue doing this all the way around. If you need to, like, feed more elastic, you can do that to make it a little bit easier. I just move the elastic forward. Sorry about that, my ring light was going a little crazy, but we're still going. And then I'm almost to this first pin. Or I mean, the center pin. And again, I'm just making sure that all of my fabric lays flat and I'm going to remove the pin before I go over it. And then again, if I need to feed more elastic, I'm just making sure that i have it nice and set but we already reached this end where it's like 
locked in place so I can't really feed it anymore. But again, just focus on making sure that your fabric is laying flat and you're not stretching any of the fabric. But we can feed some more elastic to make sure that it kind of feeds more evenly. Or I mean that the fabric feeds evenly. So again, just making sure my elastic stays towards the left. And I'm sewing it up and we're almost done. What? Sorry, I was saying what to my daughter, but we're about to end. And then I just I just pivot off and cut it and we are all done with sewing the waistband. So hopefully that gave y'all more peace of mind. It's really not that bad. You just have to, you know, move your elastic around and then you've got something like this. But all you need to do is stretch it out. So now back with the other fabric and the rest of the video. All right, so this is what it looks like all sewn up and I will show you the right side of it so you can see it better. And you just kind of have to stretch out the elastic so that it gets evenly spread out. And that's what our waistband looks like. And now I'm going to turn it back to how it was so that we can do our leg bands. So for leg bands, it's going to be similar but all we're going to do is sew both right sides together sewing the raw edges together i should say and then same with this one so we're going to do two and sew them right here okay now this is the last step and we are going to turn our bands right side out like this And then we are going to sew them into each leg hole. Now for the crotch, we're going to line up our bands the same way that I showed you earlier. So you're going to insert the leg band inside the hole. Look at which direction the seams are going and make sure they're going the opposite way. And then start sewing around. And then let me get a hold of this. And then you're just going to have to sew it in here. I am having to stretch a little bit. So you can do pins if you want. Like in these two points where my fingers are at. Or you can just live on the wild side and go for it. Typically when I do bands like this. Then I know I'm going to have to stretch. I start here so that I just have that already out of the way. And then I go to the opposite end. And stretch it on my serger. And then hold it here so that I have two points where I know I'm going to be stretching and then I just sew along here until I reach this hand and then stretch again and sew along until I reach where I started. Hopefully that makes sense. But I'm going to go ahead and sew these on and then we will be finished. All right, here they are all sewn up and let me just show you all this sewing porn. Look at how beautifully these crotch seams lined up. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> so that tip definitely works and then these are the little shorties i feel like i should have measured um the elastic for my daughter she is like me and we're both really skinny so i don't know if it's gonna fit her but that is it for this video hopefully you found it helpful especially the person that requested this and i will catch you all in the next video bye everyone